How are you doing guys? We're here at Disneyland today. We're gonna be walking around. This is kind of more of a casual vlog. We're gonna see what's happening here at Disneyland. I already see holiday decorations going up. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> I see all the garland on top and the wreaths. Oh my gosh, and the castle looks very sparkly, full of snow. I'm excited. I know. The Christmas tree's in here yet though, but I know it's gonna come soon. They already took down some of the decorations up front, like some of the pumpkins, and Oogie Boogie's coming down too. Yeah, it's like little bits and pieces of him, but you can see that he's still up there trying to stay, but it's like, no. The yeah, they're taking him down. The holidays are coming. So take a look over here, guys. They already have the garlands up over on Main Street. Yes. That is awesome. The only thing that's missing is the garland that goes across like the street on Main Street. Yeah, right? I'm always like, are they gonna do it this year? Are they not? Oh, because sometimes do they do, they're and sometimes do they don't. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, they're gonna do it this year because I just, I just know. Now this is the time of year where a lot of high school bands, a lot of college bands come and perform for us on Main Street, which is so cool. We just saw one pass by, so. You guys sounded amazing, let me just tell you. Here at the Magic Shop, they have a nice little Christmas tree here on the Main Street window. Look at this ornament right here, this jeweled one. Ooh. Pretty. They got some nice ones. What I want to do this year again is I want to get another uh, ornament. Oh, the one that we made last year? Yeah. Those are so cool, I we love those. We should have one that has my name and one that has your name. Oh, we have a Magic cute. Journeys one already. And put them together like this. Yeah. I wanted to ask you guys a question. Today, obviously, we're here at Disneyland. We're having a great time. But we're thinking of filming more than just one video a week, because that's usually what we're doing right now. We're just filming one episode a week. We thought maybe we could try to find a way to film two episodes a week. And by doing that, we'd have to have like one main video and one vlog video. Now, the reason why I was thinking maybe we should do some vlog videos is because there's a lot of times where there's things happening here at Disneyland that we want to come and show you guys, but we don't know how to really incorporate them into like a main video. video yeah. So we thought maybe we'd come over and like, for instance, today the Disneyland Villas is opening up their new bar. Now I wouldn't know how to put that in like, I can't make that a whole video. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So instead of doing that, we thought we'd come and vlog and show you new things like the garlands, the merch. Uh, maybe we show you things inside the Disneyland Hotel. And, and just sometimes there's days things. that when Miguel and I go to like these cool re looking restaurants and we're like, we should show this in our Let's channel. Show this. But how do we do that? Exactly. So, so we thought yeah. maybe we'd come and do like a vlog where we could show you cool things that don't necessarily have to be in a main video. Usually main videos will have a little more production work, we'll have music, we'll have nicer shots. And a vlog is just us coming here and having a good time and we want to show you new things. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think we should have a vlog video and a main video? Let me know in the comments below. We definitely want to film a lot more and we want to bring you guys along. So we want to know what you guys think. Let us know. There are days where we just come into the park and we just want to show you like little bits and pieces. And it's not about Disneyland, but it's also Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm, or even like outside the parks too. So, oh my gosh, right now I'm walking towards the Sleeping Beauty Castle. It looks so sparkly. I can't wait to show you guys. Wait, just wait one minute. Whoa, there it is. Wow, so beautiful. Every time we see the garland with the ornaments and the snow and the crystals, it just gets me in the like holiday spirit. But I'm really happy though, is that they left the fountains. You know what? The if there's anything that I like from the Disney 100, this is one of them. I really like the fountains in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle. Yeah, it so should do definitely I. stay. It was like a nice touch. You think they're gonna leave the little medallion thing on, on the castle? Oh, instead of the uh, the wreath? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want the wreath. I think they're gonna keep it. No, don't say that to me. I think so. I mean, I why would you... they take it down? Uh, they would've taken it down by now, right? No, because it's not fully like... <laughs> the holidays yet? Yeah. I don't it's know. Like it's gonna be gone by the holiday time. I say it's staying. I'll bet you on a Mickey it's gingerbread a cookie. cookie. Deal, yes. Yeah? You guys I saw this, right? All right. Make it official. If I lose, I gotta get you a Mickey gingerbread cookie. And if cookie. I lose, I gotta get you one. I can't wait to eat that gingerbread <laughs> Stop cookie. Stop it, I'm gonna eat two. Pioneer Mercantile is looking good. We got some garlands up. Did they, have, did they have anything here for the holidays? It's just the wreaths, right? I, I think like so, them. yeah. For, oh, for Halloween, bag. they always put the pumpkins, but for the holidays, they don't put much of they anything put, down like, there. They should put little pine like trees or something. They should put Santa there. Santa, they take like a picture right in the middle. Santa. Like, yeah, cardboard oh, cutout Santa. Santa yeah. Mm, that's cute. Okay, so I saw these at shopdisney.com. And let me just say, I was gonna look out for these ears. And there's other ears, like the ones with the little, um, little snow Mickey and Minnie. So I'm gonna look out for those, the lounge fly to match the ears. These are cute, aren't they? I like them. 
They're studded. I love like the studded, the little pearls, very elegant. I love the little plush of the ears. I, listen, I'm too excited for this. We <laughs> have to find that Mickey and Minnie snowman ones. Though. Yes, that, uh, those, those are, are my, cool. Those are the ones I want the most, and this one. Let me show you a great spot to take a photo. Look, look, look. Do you see the vision? I see the vision. Like, or has to be oh, like this. Way, this, way, this way. <laughs> I'm giving you six different poses here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard the news, but on November 9th, Magic Key Holders are gonna be able to preview the Adventureland Treehouse, which is really cool. So when we made our video back in July, I think it was August, I kind of yeah. predicted that they were gonna open this in November. You said September, right? I said September, you said November, so I, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you know? It's been a hot minute though. Like, I'm so happy that it's finally open. I am gonna miss the, the Tarzan tree house, but this looks cool. Just looking at yep. it, it looks really I can't awesome. wait to go inside and check it out. Bit of a busy day here at Disneyland, but not too bad. I kinda wanna look at the merch, the holiday merch. You wanna go check out the holiday I merch? I do, I do. I'm gonna look up for those ears. Janelle says she's on a mission to find those snowman Mickey and Minnie ears. Hopefully you can find them. them. Yeah, I did. They're so cute, huh? <laughs> Maybe you'll find it here in the Plaza Point. All right, this is the Plaza Point, pretty much like also, all year round Christmas store. Yeah, also this is a place where you get your ornaments like decorated and signed. I wanna get look. one. I know. Wow, look, they could also do this with your ears you too. They got a little snowman on here. These are Frosty's ears. I like them. All right, so we're thinking we're gonna get a custom ornament inside here. We're gonna have our name or maybe even Magic Journeys. You're gonna see what they do in here. It's really cool. As you guys can see, there's a lot to choose from here. A lot of different ornaments, but I am thinking this is the one. Look at this. Isn't that so cool? So we're thinking we're gonna take this and we're gonna have this one customized. So far, I think it's my favorite one. Janelle doesn't know about this ornament here. I'm gonna go surprise her, see if she likes it. <laughs> She's waiting in line. I got this one. You like it? Yeah. Perfect. So I didn't know this about this ornament, but it lights up. <laughs> the light comes through here. If, if it were darker, it'd show up a little more. Yes. That is so cool. I'll be Vanna White. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Do you know the, but look at this. Got the um, Incredicoaster back there and the, of course the Matterhorn. And I don't know, is that a car? Oh, no, no. That's that Grizzly Peak. Grizzly Peak. Yeah. Is that amazing? It is. It's I my really favorite. like it. I it's really like favorite. it. All right. So we got our ornament. We decided to go with the gold letterings and we're gonna get these little designs here. These are complimentary artwork and we're gonna get these in white. So hopefully it comes out looking really pretty and Janelle decided to choose her name for it. Yeah. Janelle. And then you're gonna get one later, aren't you? <laughs> I'm thinking about it, yeah. And we have both, one with my name, one with yours. There you go. So we just left our ornament in there. They said to come and pick it up around six o'clock. So we're excited to see what that's gonna look like. Now, if you guys did buy an ornament recently, you do have 30 days to come back and get it personalized if that's what you want to do. In case you didn't know about this, come back and get it done. It's really cool. But just make sure to bring the receipt and the tags have to be still on the ornament like if it were brand new. But yeah, 30 days and you can come back and do it. So we couldn't find the ears, obviously, because I don't have them in my hand. <laughs> but I am kind of hungry. Are you hungry? I'm getting a little hungry, yeah. Can we get something to eat? Uh, you know what I've been craving? I've been craving that prime rib oh my gosh. over at the I, tavern. Oh, it's so how good. How did I have that in my head already? I'm like, you can ask for a prime rib. I already know it. <laughs> it just sounds so good right it now. It does sound really good. <laughs> so if you guys haven't been to the tavern, you definitely have to go check it out. They got some great stuff, but their prime rib is my favorite. It kind of reminds me of like when I go to Vegas, I always have to get that prime rib, but they have it here and it's really tasty and it's really thick too. It used to be um, the Brea Bakery. Now it's Earl's Sandwich, but they have the tavern and they also sell pizza there now. It's it's pretty cool. We need to go show you. Look, they got the holiday feast little sandwiches. Uh, they got the holiday ham, holiday turkey. This one they have all year long, but I don't think I've ever tried the ham one. I kind of want to try it. Ooh, you gonna you want to try that? I kind of do. I'll take a bite because I want to eat at the tavern. I'm craving that prime rib, but look, right now you can celebrate the holidays here at the Earl's Sandwich. Pretty this cool. One has Sweet potato mash. Oh yeah, we're getting it. We're gonna get it, she says. Okay, come on. <laughs> Smells so good in here. Look, I got my little beeper. It's gonna be popping off in just a second. <laughs> All right, we're at the tavern. Hi. Hi. 
We're gonna get a table over here and we're gonna dine and try out these tasty right, foods. Ooh, so right now they have some Halloween cocktails. That's what I'm excited for. So now let's get the fish and chips. I'm gonna do it. They still have the sandwich too. You probably might share this though, huh? I'm down to share. <laughs> it's like it's like an it's like an appetizer. Yeah. For our entrees, you know. <laughs> So, I just, uh, it looked really cool there on that sign. It so did. I like, have to try it. And then we're also super hungry. <laughs> Here we go. It has like sweet potato mash, it has ham, cranberry. Ah. Ready for this shop? Ooh, all right. Look at that, guys. It smells really good, I'll tell you that. Right? The camera doesn't want to focus on it though, but it looks really good. Here. There we go. It looks good, huh? It does look good. Mmm. Mmm, it's ham. Wow, look at all that ham in there, guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Right? Right? It's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna have to tell you, this sandwich is pretty dang good. I love the ham. It kind of has like that smoky taste, and it's sweet. It kind of has like that ham and cheese croissant type of like vibe, but in a sandwich, and then you're getting that nice sweetness of the cranberry. It's really good. I kind of wonder if you can add like the stuffing from the other sandwich up to this one. I like the stuffing it's on the other one. a request that you can ask next time we go and we'll see if they can do it. This is good though. It's like an appetizer. I like it. <laughs> I'm taking this home with me. We're packing up the sandwich. It's coming home. Mm, that was good though. It was really good. We just had to try it. We're all we like, you know what? It, it looks amazing. Wait. I like how we both thought, we were like, let's just try it. I couldn't wait, I couldn't. So we totally missed out on these Halloween cocktails. Look at this, that witch's brews, witch's apples. But from what I hear, they are gonna have some holiday cocktails coming out real soon. So we're excited for that. We're definitely gonna have to come back and show them. And then they also have regular cocktails. So there's their cocktail menu. Yeah, right there, a hibiscus margarita. They got a canary breeze, Earl Spritz, and orange burst. So they got a lot of different things you can come and try here at the Earl's Sandwich. I wanted to try their Mai Tai, but it's a little sweet. I like it though, but it, it's not your typical Mai Tai. Uh, it's more like your, your resort Mai Tai. <laughs> very sweet, kind of like a fruit punch. It's what it tastes like to it's me. Pretty. But it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. Finally got my prime rib. Look at how thick this prime rib is. Wow. Yeah, I asked for a medium. Usually I'll get it like medium rare, but I was going for medium today. And Janelle got herself her, her fish and green beans because she didn't want fish and chips. <laughs> no, I don't want, I, the green beans are really delicious here. So I substituted for green beans. Ooh. So yummy. But look at this. It's so crispy. So crispy and look, huge. huge. Yeah. I can't wait to dig in. I would probably say get it a little bit more medium rare, but I was just craving something a little bit more medium. So there you go. And I got some mac and cheese and some French fries. Not good. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So good. And if you're wondering, my fish and chips are juicy and crispy. So good. And uh, if you guys want to try a very delicious prime rib, come over to the Earl of Sandwich. Trust me, you're gonna love it. It's really good. It's All right, we just finished a very tasty meal over at the Earl of Sandwich, but now we're heading over to Disneyland because we got to pick up our ornament. Yes. It's ready. I know, it's ready. We've got the message for it too. Then that means it's time. It is time. Here goes the monorail. He stopped inside the Mad Hatter in, on Main Street. And look at these cute little bookie hats. Those are pretty cool. Right? Yeah, they also have these here too. Look, yeah. these are pretty nice. Mm. All sparkly. These are really funny, guys. Check these out. Great for any Star Wars fan out there. I love these. I think I see them. I think Janelle found her ears. Oh my, how'd you see that from all the way out there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> The eyes of steel. Those are awesome. Those are the ones you've been wanting. Yeah, those snow monsters. They okay, also have these Starbucks tumblers here. I can't wait. I have to wear these right now. Ah! Right? Look at it. Look at like those snow them. monsters. <laughs> here we go. And they're cute. Whoa. I like them. I know. They're so cute. Look well, great on you. Thank you. They're so, I love them. My little snow monsters on my head like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who are probably like, their sad Halloween is over. But it's like for me, as soon as Halloween is done, I just start feeling Christmas is coming and I love it. And I start getting the movies ready. I get Home Alone ready. What's your favorite Christmas movie? What's your favorite holiday movie that you like to watch 
during this time of year? Let me know in the comments below. Back in, we're gonna pick up our ornament. I know it's gonna look so awesome. Oh, that wow. is so magical. That is what? beautiful. Wow. Is that by hand? Yeah. I, my hand could never. There'd be all scribbles and chicken scratches, <laughs> but look. That is gorgeous, wow. I honestly think it's worth it if you want to do that with your ornament. The ornament's probably the most expensive thing. We paid about $35 for it, but with their discount, it was like about $30. The actual decorations and the whole customization of it was only five bucks. The little like stars The decals on the side? Yeah, yeah, it's all five bucks. But if you want to add more things like a wreath or like a little balloon, it's like another additional $5, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, we just did the customary ones and it, they're great. They look beautiful. I really recommend you guys come and do this. It's a lot of fun and you get to write your name or a loved one one's name you can put happy birthday on it whatever you want honestly i think it's worth it it looks great on the christmas tree and uh yeah you can get it for yourself or a loved one it's really cool now that we have an ornament that says janelle we need one that says miguel i know i saw it i'm like okay we gotta come back and get you one <laughs> yeah i really want one i think i want to get that that there was this really pretty red one i saw on there really shiny glossy oh, i kind of like I that about. yeah yeah that one's really cute that one that's the one i want Today at Starbucks, they released all the holiday drinks, and Janelle had to try one today. Which one did you try? I tried one earlier today, and it's called a gingerbread oat milk latte. It was it was not good. You didn't it like was, it? It was too overly sweet. But my favorite one to get during the holidays is the chestnut praline latte. You guys, that one Ooh. is like perfection. I think. So right now they have the Christmas blend, and they also have like the cranberry bliss bars, and uh, <laughs> the snowman cookie. Oh, peppermint. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, both of them are peppermint. Thank you. Look, I'm obsessed with these little cups. <laughs> you got to try another one now. That's good. Which one's that one? This is the peppermint mocha. Ooh. We'll try. Let's I might try like this, this one. That's pretty good. It tastes kind of like a, a frozen hot chocolate. Is that what it's supposed to be? It frozen hot this. chocolate with I'm peppermint? I'm not sure. Kind of tastes like that. I like it. So good. That's good. Not just got the typical me. Strawberry acai. <laughs> You're not ready for Christmas, I guess. It's too hot still. Look it. <laughs> I still think it's too hot for like warm drinks. It's not cold enough yet. Once it gets cold, then I'll think about the, the hot drinks. The creme brulee latte to me is like my favorite. <laughs> now this is my favorite drink to get during the holidays. Just because it's like not too sweet and it's not too bitter. It's just right. So good. Oh gosh. Mmm. Don't burn yourself, I almost burn myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. So yummy. This is made up from earlier, because that gingerbread one was not it. It was like too, too sweet. It almost like tasted like milk and sugar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's too much. But Michael this Scott's one, favorite drink. Milk and sugar. So we're here at Downtown Disney and there's Centrico. Not a lot of progress since the last time we were here, which was about a month ago. So nothing has changed much. Hopefully soon. Yeah, I don't difference in the last time we saw it yeah right I, I, well i can't wait till they're done because i really want to check out these new restaurants here at downtown disney next it's gonna year, be a great change next year in fall 2024 yeah probably Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this stage is looking great that's gonna be replacing that one right there here at downtown disney it's got that really cool mid-century modern look i'm excited for it i'm excited for the new changes here you at downtown disney some palm trees yeah. some like life over here i love it awesome. i love it it's gonna be all open here and then we have Din Tai Fung right behind it. It's gonna be great. Playing Captain Eel here on the stage. I hope one day they bring back Captain Eel. They're not really using the Magic Eye Theater anymore. I know, I miss it. I want like the merch. I'm gonna have like pins yeah. and sweaters. Like bring that back. I'm pretty sure people will right. love that. There's a new bar that just opened up for the villas. And we're gonna go see and check out some new foods and drinks. Hopefully they got some good ones. I hope so. They have know, finger foods there and they also have like some cocktails. I definitely want to check it out. It just opened today. Mm -hmm, so really we're about did. to do that. Yep. All right, let's walk through here. Ready? Yeah. So these are the new Disney villas right over here. The new DVC tower. And this is their new bar. Just opened today. This is pretty exciting. All right, we got a nice little table right over here next to the bar. So they got us next to the swimming pool and the bar right over here, which is really cool. So we had the new Palm Breeze Bar and it's inspired by the 1950s Palm Springs. And you can definitely tell this is the menu. Yeah, right? that looks cool. And you have like the, the beautiful meal behind you, the wallpaper. It's just really pretty and 
the menu. Yeah, so pretty much all the foods and the cocktails are all inspired like by 1950s Palm Freeze. Yeah, so. 1950s comfort food. I'm really excited to do this. I'm thinking I'm gonna have this one here. Now this is the chili mango. It's a chilled delight. That looks good. And then over on this side, if you want to see what else they have, they have the stirred and strong drinks. You can always pause the video if you like. They have curiously delightful mocktails too. Oh, look, they got mocktails, nice. So a lot of great drinks to choose from. They have so many menu items, see? It's like, it's supposed to be like comfort food from the 50s. So they have like salad, Southwest salads, they have burgers, pizza, and I think we're gonna show some wings, huh? I think we're gonna get some wings and then we're thinking of getting a molten chocolate cake. What are you thinking? We are. Yeah. <laughs> so I forgot to bring extra batteries and my camera now is at about 15%. So we're gonna try to speed this up and show you what foods they have here and some drinks. And uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to see what they have here. 1950s inspired food. So this should be fun. Wow, that look at so that. Pretty. So we got our first drink here, the chili mango. Look at that. Got all that tahini on top. <laughs> wow. And they got some music playing right now. This is great. This is mine. You can it. It's a very pretty drink. Wow. This is really good. You can definitely taste that smoky mezcal, a little bit of that grapefruit and basil. I love sours like this, where sometimes you expect very sour things. This is more like a smoky, sour little cocktail drink and I really enjoyed this. So cheers. Wow. That smoky mezcal just gets me. It's so, so good. Wow. <laughs> it's very citrusy. It doesn't have any heat at all, but it tastes a lot like chamoy, but then you get that punch of mango. Pretty good. I like it. And it's got that splash of 1950s. <laughs> that looks like a really good drink right. to like just chill when the sun is out. Yeah, you know? it's very pretty. And I'm pretty sure it, like during like when the daytime, it yeah. looks really, really pretty. It's great. And my whiskey sour, it is so delicious, so yummy, and I'm happy I got it. So of course we're vlogging, we're just showing you a little preview of this place, but we want to see what they have and we want to show you some food, but next time we'll come back and we'll do like a thorough review of this place, but at least you got to come over to the Pompries and feel the vibe. The vibes are vibing for sure, like right? Yeah. I love this. I love like the 1950s Palm Springs like era they're in right now. <laughs> so I'm going to get some of this wing here. I'm gonna try it like this. Ready? Go ahead. It's actually really good, actually. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they look really good. Let's take a bite of this. Mm. They're very crispy. Crispy outside? Mm -hmm. Tender Juicy on the inside. inside. Yeah, but they're pretty good. I like the flavors of it. It's like smoky barbecue, right? And I think a lot of people are ordering wings because they did take a while to come out. They did out. take a while. But uh, I like them. They're pretty good. Uh, that's a chili aioli, and I believe that's barbecue. Chili aioli? See that. Try with that. Yeah, that's, wow, that's great. It's good, right? Yeah. So the presentation wasn't 100%, but the flavor was 1,000%. It was yep. so good, right? And nails it on the flavor. They are a little pricey, though, for. Wings. 22 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you get like a little side of like, maybe like a little slaw salad on the side, and maybe some. Some carrots. Carrots or something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. Wow, this is the molten lava chocolate cake. Chantilly cream. Some chocolate. There's some a little Mickey right there. Cherries? Too. Where? Right here. I don't see it. That's the Mickey. Oh, <laughs> like, where is it? I'm like, where is it? <laughs> cherries, Mickey, some chocolate, and cherry. there's the star of the show. Oh my god, you gotta dig in. Yeah? My battery's about to die. Ooh. That. Look at that. A little bit of the cream. It's not good. It's not I good. Try it too. I'm doing you a favor. It's not good. Oh, it's not good. So I have to do it for science and finish all of it. It's good. Now that you know, gonna let me have some. Let's get in here. Let's grab some of that cream. <laughs> all right. Here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Right? That is good. Wow, it's so rich. Decadent, rich chocolate, mm -hmm. chantilly cream balances out that richness. So that's good. some rich chocolate. It's very warm too. 
Wow. And we destroyed Mickey here. I know, he's like, <laughs> he's gone. gone. Oh no. <laughs> I think this is her favorite. My favorite dessert ever. Guys, we had a fantastic time here yes. today. I really enjoyed the bar. The vibes are great. Mm -hmm. We're down to 1%. I know, oh my gosh, I can see it right there. Oh my goodness, yeah, but, but yes. Guys, if you really enjoyed these <laughs> vlog styles, let us know in the comments below. We want to post a little bit more constantly, mm -hmm. so this would be fun to bring you guys along and just hang out and do some fun stuff here. I know, we want to bring you guys along to not just the parks, but outside of the parks and see what else is out there. That would be fun. Right? But guys, we just want to say thank you for watching our videos, and if you haven't subscribed, what you doing? it's time to subscribe, but we'll see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye! Bye.